Silicon Valley's most mysterious company just became worth more than IBM. And nobody really knows what they actually do. Palantir stock exploded over 340% in 2024, making it one of the best performing investments of the year. But here's the wild part. They openly admit their product is used to kill people. Unlike your typical tech giants that connect people through social media or streaming services, Palantir builds what they call a digital kill chain for the U.S. military. Founded in 2003 during the War on Terror, Palantir emerged when American soldiers were being blown up by roadside bombs in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Pentagon had mountains of intelligence data, satellite images, drone feeds, phone intercepts and field reports, but no way to connect it all fast enough to find the attackers, Palantirs. AI-driven data fusion systems changed that. They built software capable of linking bomb makers, supply routes and funding trails mapping the entire network behind insurgent attacks. Their platforms reportedly played roles in tracking Osama bin Laden's courier network, predicting IED hotspots, and helping analysts during Operation Neptune spear the mission that killed bin Laden in 2011. By 2025, Palantir's reach has expanded far beyond U.S. borders. During the Russia-Ukraine war, Palantir provided Ukraine with AI battlefield mapping and satellite reconnaissance tools helping target Russian artillery and troop convoys in real time. Their meta-constellation platform reportedly used data from hundreds of satellites to detect movement patterns before missile strikes even happened. In the Gaza conflict, Palantir's systems have allegedly been deployed by Western allies to analyze urban warfare data track drone flight paths and identify militant hideouts in densely populated zones, blurring the line between data analytics and direct participation in lethal operations. Recently, Palantir has quietly positioned itself in the backdrop of the India-Pakistan border tensions of 2025, offering predictive intelligence platforms to track cross-border movements communication intercepts, and militant networks in the Kashmir region. Analysts claim their software could foresee potential escalations before they happen using multi-source data from satellites, drone imagery, social media, and encrypted communications. Its AI reportedly flags unusual troop activity, supply chain anomalies, insurgent movement patterns, and even logistic footprints, such as fuel ammunition and medical supply shipments giving military planners actionable intelligence hours or even days before conflicts erupt. Some reports suggest Palantir also monitors patterns in cyber communications, GPS device usage and financial transactions linked to insurgent groups, effectively providing a real-time digital map of potential threats. Meanwhile, Palantir's relationships with China and Russia remain opaque. Publicly, the company paints these nations as digital adversaries, but insiders claim Palantir is deeply involved in developing AI defense countermeasures, cyber threat detection systems, and satellite analytics to counter their growing surveillance and military capabilities CEO. Alex Karp, the eccentric philosopher warrior, continues to call Palantir the weapon of democracy, saying, we don't sell to dictators, we defend against them. Yet critics argue that Palantir's technology used in wars from Kandahar to Kyiv, Gaza to Kashmir is quietly reshaping how nations fight, surveil, and control. While defense giants like Lockheed Martin still build fighter jets, Palantir builds the brain behind the battlefield, turning modern warfare into a data-driven simulation where algorithms, predictive models, and AI dashboards increasingly determine who lives, who dies, and who disappears from the map. Analysts warn this could create a new era where digital intelligence supersedes traditional diplomacy and strategy, making wars faster, more precise, and eerily detached from human oversight, with the software constantly scanning and connecting every possible vector of enemy activity, from physical troop movements to digital communications and financial networks. Hit follow to never miss content like this.